Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate a private DNS zone to your Azure Virtual Network. For this, we are using Azure DNS Private Resource. Let's say you have the architecture that I have shown on the screen. You have a subnet, let's call it web tier, and you have another subnet, let's call this the business logic tier. And you want to access the business logic tier from the virtual machines in the web tier and you don't want to access the virtual machines in the business logic tier using the IP address you want to use a domain name as shown here businesslogics.mycolab when you want to do this you can use an Azure DNS private resource first let's deploy the architecture that I've shown on the screen I'm going to create a resource group and in that resource group there will be a virtual network I'm going to create two subnets web tier and business logic tier and then I'm going to create virtual machines in each of those subnets and after that I'm going to install this sample web server in my business logic server so that I can access that from my web server now let me copy the script that I prepared and run this on Azure CLI all right the resources are getting created all right we have created the resources that we need now let me install a sample web server on the business logic VM for that I'm going into my terminal and then I'm going to SSH into it all right now I'm going to run this script in that virtual machine all right I have installed my sample web server in the business logic virtual machine now let me SSH into the web server for that let me go to my Azure portal and to that resource group here we have the web virtual machine and I'm going to copy the public IP address and then I'm going back and now let me SSH into this now if I go back to my Azure portal and to the resource group and the business logic VM and to networking here we can see the private IP address of that virtual machine let's try whether we can ping this private IP from my web virtual machine I'm in my web VM let's ping this IP address as you can see we can access our business logic server from the web server and also let's see whether I can weave the web page that I will deploy there yeah as you can see we can weave the web page as well now that I can access the business logic server with the IP address let's try to access it with a domain name something like this obviously this does not work and that is because we haven't configured the DNS server in this virtual network for that let me go back to the resource group and then create a DNS resource I'm going to create a private DNS zone I'm going to click create here I'm going to name it my cool app dot app and as you can see here we don't have an option to associate this private DNS zone with a virtual network when I create it but after creating it I can do it so let me go into review and create and create the private DNS zone now let me go into that resource here on the left tab we have a tab called virtual network links to link a DNS zone to a virtual network we should go here and as you can see we can add multiple links now I'm going to go into that and then let me call it link 1 and I don't have to insert the resource ID I can just select the virtual network that I've just created and then we have an option enable auto registration what this will do is this will automatically add all the virtual machines in that virtual network to be accessible with this root DNS name I don't want to do that let me click OK. All right, as you can see, the link has been created. Now let me go to virtual machine and let's try to access this. Still, we can't access it because we haven't created the DNS records. For that, I'm going to overview. And here we can create the record set. I'm going to call it business logic so that I can access it with businesslogic.mycolab.app. And this is going to be an A record and then let me add the IP address it's going to be 10.0.10.4 .10 now let me verify the IP address yes 
Let me add the record. Now, here as you can see, the record is in place. Let me go back to the web VM. As you can see, we can access the business logic virtual machine from the domain name of that computer. Today we learned how to integrate a private DNS zone to your virtual network. If you have further questions or comments, let me know down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today and thanks for watching.